Maxine, class act body. So we've been talking about some of the great sports programs here at Oyster Bay High School, but we also want to talk about this incredible new innovation lab because as great as the fencing program is, it is really all about the rise of the machines. These kids, this school, 800 kids go to school here, and you can see some of the younger kids here as well. They go from grade 7 to grade 12. Big ideas, some great minds all on full display. The stuff that we have now it looks nothing like the high school of 40 years ago. We got engineering classes, we've got robotics. Like I didn't, I wasn't involved in any of this, and somehow I ended up kind of in, in the seat teaching all of it. At Oyster Bay High School, they've got it. This brand new innovation lab. The kids code, 3D print, build robotics from the ground up, and most of all, they collaborate. Some people are just really good. Like he's really good at coding, and then other people are better at the physical aspects. And some people just start good at like getting the visions out and drawing them out onto the board. I love to 3D print. Ever since I came here, I saw our 3D printers in the library, and I became inspired. And I taught myself how to 3D print. And now I use 3D printing to help the robotics club, and I work together with my 3D printing club to help create new 3D printing creations like our robot launcher and our claw and our robot. This place, it's a very good environment to work in. I mean, having this open space, and it's just a, you know, a creative environment. You can do whatever you want here and just learn. And it just grows your mind. It's just a great place to learn. I see some of the younger kids coming in with their equipment right now. Intimidating to see them starting that young. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. What are we going to do? We're going to leave soon. They're taking our spots. The creativity cream rises to the top here at Oyster Bay at a young age. The school is a 7th to 12th grade high school, so the younger engineers get a shot to show the big kids what they can do. I'm an 8th, yeah. so we did it. It's a robot and a research project, yeah. so our research project was meant to help disabled people with our environment. We chose to do like a e-vision thing where you would see real life experiences using o oculuses and a haptic chair. If robotics are not your thing, how about this? Good morning, Oyster Bay. Today is Wednesday, March 13th, and is a B day. I'm Grace Curry, and thank you for joining us this morning. We have some competition. Oyster Bay has their very own morning show, Bay News Now. This is anchor Grace Curry, a star in the making. Anytime I go to the elementary schools for yeah. different organizations that I'm part yeah. of, all of them ask me, Are you the girl from Bay News Now? Are you the girl from Bay News Now? Even like random adults that come, they're like, Oh, I've seen you on Bay News Now. High five. I'm like, <laughs> Good job. Grace, way to go. And that's your news this morning. The kids watch Bay News now every day. They see other kids on camera and they're like, hey, I want to do that. And they want to work behind the scenes. So I'm excited how much everybody's really embraced all the different roles there are too. Director, behind yeah. the scenes, in front of the camera, teleprompter, everything. Nobody understands. It takes a village. It, it really, really does. does. Okay. Yeah. The studio does have it all, just like the real thing. Everyone working together to put on the best broadcast possible, no matter what age. Have a great day, Oyster Bay. I told you, we've got some competition. But look, the robotics, I'll tell you, it is something else here. They love it. The kids are so passionate about not only 3D printing, coding, robotics, the works. I want to bring in some guests right now. The woman you just saw on your screen, our news anchor, Grace Curry, who is also a cheerleader here at Oyster Bay. Olivia Gallo is the senior class president. There is a massive fashion show for charity that she's spearheading. That takes place tonight. And our principal, Melissa Argumen, who is with us here this morning. Melissa, thank you first and foremost for everything that you've done over the last few weeks. I know we've become close friends. We have, we have. Uh, but you have got a great student body here. Uh, and I just want to ask you just how proud you are of these kids with everything that we're highlighting here today, not only fencing, robotics, your TV anchor. No, every single day there's something else they do that I'm impressed with and amazed by. So yeah. our kids here, they're involved in everything and they've got so many opportunities and they take advantage. It's so funny. Every principal that we deal with for these class acts is always like, wait a second, 4.30 in the morning, you want me to have a pep rally here in our gymnasium? We always pull it off, and it's amazing the excitement that the uh, kids have. Oh, yeah, we've been building this up all week. We've got food, we've got prizes for them. I tried everything to get them here, and they showed up. Yeah. I knew they would. They never, ever disappoint <laughs> well, we me. We always say it's like game day. It's like college game day. It's like having the kids here. Um, as far as some of the programs that we've been showing you, uh, showing the folks at home, robotics, did you ever think it would be as popular as it is? I mean, you're 7 through 12 here, so you got some younger kids who have also really embraced it. Yeah, you know, the great thing thing about offering all these types of programs for kids is yep. that there's something for everyone yeah. and our goal is to get every kid involved and yep. for every single one of them to find their niche yep. what their 
they're interested in, and I think the robotics just took off, and it's the kids are doing amazing things. And with that it. innovation lab is something else. Uh, excuse me for crossing you. I want to talk yeah, to the senior ahead. class president here for one second, Olivia Gallo. You got the fashion show tonight. I know this is something that you spearhead. This is your brainchild. Um, what got you into fashion to begin with? Um, I actually, so I started sewing when I was six years old. Yep. Um, I actually the first like encounter that I had with. Um, sewing. I went to a antique shop and I found a 12 inch long needle and I was like what is this and then I found a, um, a spool of thread yep. and I we were on a road trip and I created a shirt in the back of the car and since then I've just been hooked. <laughs> and you've got a huge uh, charity fashion show tonight. It's not only going to charity which we're going to talk about a little later in the broadcast but also it's to, to help defray the costs of the prom for yes, the kids here Yes, so most of the profits are going to be um, to defray the cost of prom and 10% of all of our profits are going to Penny's Flight Foundation. Yeah which mission is to help people who are suffering from neurofibromatosis. Yeah, the Durgi family, obviously, yes. so we both know uh, such a great, great cause and such a noble cause for you to do it yes. for them and for all the other kids who are at the school. Way to go, Olivia. Nice job. I'm going to cross you here for a second because I want to talk to uh, probably a future CBS employee. <laughs> uh, something uh, You do everything, huh? You're not only a news anchor here, you're a cheerleader, which I didn't know about until right now when I saw you in your, in your uniform, but you love to sail. You're on the sailing team. What's this school been like for you? It's been amazing. We have so many amazing opportunities here, and every year it just grows and grows and grows. I'm part of six sports teams yeah. during the school year. I'm part of the musical, and you're just allowed to do everything, which is amazing, especially from being a part of a small school. Yeah. It allows you to do everything. You are allowed to try anything that you want to try, especially with Bay News Now, news yeah. anchoring. I never thought I would do it, but once I tried it, I fell in love with it. Okay, well, you've seen this operation that we've been doing here at CBS2 here for the greater part of the last hour. Have we, have we got you hooked? Is this something you want to do or what? I would love to, <laughs> to anchor. I love um, l learning uh, about journalism, yeah. about broadcasting, and it's just something that really inspires me. Yeah, and I want to say this as well. I want to point this out. You know, I live by the adage, don't be on time, be early. Uh, you were the first person here today. Yes. <laughs> you basically here when the crew and I got here early this morning. I got here around 4.30, 4.30 to stretch and get everything ready. I like being on time to things. Well, it is great to talk to you, Grace. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for letting us invade your newscast the other day. Bay News Now, if you're not watching, you better start. This is uh, someone to keep your eye on in the future. Grace, Olivia, Madam Principal, thank you guys very, very much. Oyster Bay High School, Cindy, Mary, they've got it all here. They're excited. They're passionate about everything that they're involved in, and that's why we love highlighting schools like this on Class Act Fridays. A big congratulations. It's been so exciting to meet all of them. Grace, come on right here. Yeah, we have a seat yeah, for exactly. you right here. We're Grace waiting. Curry. <laughs>